In this video I just want to talk about the range and the range meter in electric vehicles. So I picked up this 2021 Renault Zoe here yesterday and that's what's prompted me to make this video. So if I just start this up, this has got a 52 kilowatt hour battery and as you can see it's fully charged but the range is showing 127 miles. So I do need to put the air conditioning on because it is very hot in here so sorry for the background noise but anyway um, obviously a vehicle with a 52 kilowatt hour battery isn't going to be doing 127 miles it's going to be doing nearly twice that but that's the problem I find is a lot of people put too much trust in the range meter and if you're new to an EV there's this sort of general assumption if the range is showing poor there's something wrong with your car and usually they blame the battery and think they've got a battery fault. So what I'm going to do now is take this car out for a drive and have a look at the range meter after I've driven it a little bit. What I'm going to have to do is reset the driving economy and reset all the meters. So at the moment it's showing past driving was at 3.6 miles per kilowatt hour which is okay so let's reset that and you notice already the range has jumped up to 236 miles after resetting the history there and then my journey is reset and there are tire pressures so it's all reset and already it's jumped up to 236 miles which is about what you would expect and that sort of shows you the issue with this the range meter is based on an algorithm and it's based on past driving history traditionally but there's lots of factors that can affect what the range is uh, being predicted as so as a driver uh, you have, might have one day where it's particularly cold and you've got your heating on and you might drive fast you might be driving down a motorway or you might be tearing to get back home or something so your driving economy is going to be very bad and then the range meter is going to reflect that the following day you'll charge up and the range meter is going to assume you're going to be driving like you were the day before or it's going to be assumed that it was cold like it was the day before and it's going to assume you're going to have the heating on like you had the day before but the following day the conditions might be completely different you might be driving on slower roads it might be a warmer day you might not have the heating on but the range meter is going to be predicting the same sort of driving economy as the previous day or days. So consequently, it's going to be showing less miles than you can do. And the problem is people believe what it says there on the screen. And you'll often see this is referred to as a guesser meter or a GOM. And there's the clue. It's a guess. This is guessing how many miles you're going to get out of your vehicle based on previous driving economy. But there's other factors which can really throw this out. And a common one, for example, is your car may have been in the garage for a service. And while it's in the garage, it might be in the workshop bay for, let's say, three or four hours. And all the time they've left the car running. But the car isn't moving. So consequently, it's consuming energy. They may have had the air conditioning on. They've probably got the radio on. But you're not doing any miles. So your driving economy really does drop because the car just isn't moving. So consequently, it's going to assume that it's going to be driven like that uh, all the time and this will drop artificially low. Or your car may have been valeted and uh, again, the doors are open, the vehicle's running but not moving and maybe the heating's on to dry the interior out and it's really consuming a lot of energy to generate that heat and again, that throws the, uh, the range meter out considerably. Or you may have just bought a car like this, for example, but previously the car was a demonstration car. And what you find is people, particularly if it's their first time they're testing an EV, is they will floor it and they'll drive really fast. And again, driving uneconomically and you'll get a poor range prediction as a result of that. So the key message here is what you see on the screen is a prediction, an estimate or a guess based on what's happened to the car recently, but it doesn't mean that's what you're going to get from the car. And sometimes it can be considerably out by a huge margin. 
A good example is I once got in a Renault Kangoo, an early one with a 22 kilowatt hour battery, and those do about an 80, 90 mile range. And when I charged the van up, it showed only 18 miles on the gasometer. So first thing I did is I took it out for a drive and I actually drove 80 miles that following morning in that van. And that wasn't a flat, it was near flat. But it just shows the, the huge margin that these can be out by. And this particular car is a good example. You know, it's showing 126 miles or something just now. And I've deleted the history and suddenly it's increased by 100 miles or more. So anyway, this is the first time I've driven a ZE50 Zoe. So I'm going to take this out for a drive now. And uh, also on this video, we'll just have a look at the driving economy as well and then the predicted range. So, so far I've driven 25 miles, 24.9 miles to be precise, and as you can see, the range meter hasn't dropped by 25 miles. So what it's doing is adjusting to your driving economy at the time. And what you'll often find is if your range meter is uh, quite inaccurate at the time, you can often do two or three miles for every mile that it drops off the estimated range. Different vehicles work different ways. Sometimes it will sit absolutely static for mile upon mile. Other ones will drop one mile for every two miles or so you drive but basically the principle is the same as the battery uh, state of charge reduces and you've got less battery to play with the more accurate your range meter will get because it's got less to play with so if i use the buttons there to get to the consumption there so i've been driving in an average of 4.8 miles per kilowatt hour over those 25 miles so that's much more economic than the previous driving this car had, which I think was 3.6 or 3.2, I can't quite remember now. So that's why this range meter is slowly compensating because of the more efficient driving there. So that 25 miles of driving was pretty much all rural B roads, where my average speed was um, sort of 30, 40 miles an hour or so. Anyway, the next 25 miles is going to be on a road where it's going to be 50 60 miles an hour so when i'm back i'll have a look at the economy again and see on average what this vehicle is doing and how much this range meter has compensated to get that little bit more accurate <music> So I've just got back and I've driven 49.5 miles. The predicted range is now 209 miles. So still I've done a lot more miles than it was predicting when I started. The battery is 86%, so I've only used what 24% of the pack. So relatively small and relatively a small amount of learning. So the guessometer here is still learning my driving style so if i'd have driven further and used much more of the battery this is going to get more accurate so if i use the buttons here and get to my driving efficiency over the 50 miles i average 4.8 miles per kilowatt hour and this particular vehicle has 52 kilowatt hours of usable capacity in the battery so if i average that 4.8 over the full amount of the battery pack that would give a range of 250 miles. So 250 miles is a big difference for what it was showing before I reset the history when I left and still quite a difference from what it's showing now. And that's why you can't put too much trust in this. So I see on the forums and on Facebook and things, a lot of new EV owners saying, well, my car is only saying I've got this many miles of range. And there's this assumption that it's a battery pack at fault and it's not. It, it almost never is. It's always 
previous driving history and not understanding that this is a guess, an estimate and not fact. In fact, some EVs have a sort of predefined maximum estimated range when your battery is full. Uh, let's see, vans, uh, the Stellantis vans, the Vauxhall Vivaro, um, the Citroen Peugeot Toyota version of those, they do it. Um, the Maxxa Z Deliver 3 does it. So as an example, the Maxxa Z Deliver 3 on the smaller battery, the range estimate on a full tank is always 99 miles, regardless of how you drive. And actually you can get about 150, 160 miles out of those. On the bigger battery one, I think it resets uh, on a full tank. It always shows 149 miles range, yet you can do 200 miles. So what a lot of these vehicles are doing is pre-setting that maximum range meter, I guess based on a sort of average driving. But if you drive efficiently, you can do better than that, but it doesn't reflect that. So you've got to take this estimated range, big pinch of salt, and um, really look at your average consumption. And if this is pretty um, constant, you can work out your predicted range yourself by multiplying the, multi the uh, usable capacity of your battery pack times your miles per kilowatt hour average. So I hope that helps. I just see lots of comments on Facebook and the forums from new EV drivers and they're putting too much trust into that guesser meter and thinking that's fact and that's the actual range of the car, which it just isn't the case. It's called a guesser meter because it, because it is a guess. There's lots of factors which will change that. Primarily it's driving style, driving efficiency, but of course drivers can change as well. Heater use changes, speed changes. And then on top of that, some cars have very inaccurate algorithms behind it. And uh, some cars even start with an artificially low figure in the first place. So I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please do click the thumbs up. As always, do subscribe if you're not, and I'll see you on the next video.